Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Gross here, back from MBR Starcast, back with some more live League of Legends gameplay for you guys today. Today I'm going to be playing as Infernal Nasus in the top lane, going against an astronaut, Teemo. So, Teemo is a counter to Nasus, so say. I recently played a Teemo game yesterday, even though this video time difference will be a little bit later. But I played against a Teemo, and he didn't really cause me much of a challenge. The thing with Teemo, sure, he counts Nasus because he can blind me, which can mean I miss a Q if I try to rush it, but you can wait out the line and it's pretty annoying and he can poke me quite hard if he continuously tries to auto attack me with his E and plus Q, E, Q, so so forth. And if I walk into shrooms I will take some damage but the thing is with Nasus, once I reach a farm of two to three hundred Q stacks plus my Iceborne Gauntlet, Teemo is just flipping fresh meat for me to be honest. He's my little bull that I will actually go chase. Nasus says he won't fetch the bull but I will be fetching Teemo this game once that happens. So. Yeah, and it's, it's a bit annoying to start off with. It depends. I always think Nasus is down to how the enemy jungler plays it. I, I played like I remember one ranked game when the enemy jungler was in my lane every flipping like minute, potent like possible, and it killed me off completely. It was horrible, and I just couldn't do anything because I have no damage and I have no health and don't have anything going for me early game. It was Nasus, not early game champion, and it was that's how you have to play it. And um, it was, uh, I think we lost in the end, and that's what you have to do, but not enough junglers, you know, put enough pressure, and not enough laners put enough pressure on you, and Teemo's a champion that has to do that. Well, the Teemo I played recently didn't really harass me enough. He harassed me a little bit and stopped me farming a bit, but eventually my farm will get to the point where it's cool. And I imagine he will go AP, so I just rush my Spirit's Visage, and, um, you know, get the Necton Cloak, and then maybe go into a Sheen. Depends how much damage I'm taking. But yeah, once I get that Necton Cloak, really it's going to limit his damage down. And then the Spectral Cow will get the Health Regen, for, or the Pass of the Health Regen. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be easy pickings, really. It's a bit annoying, but then it comes to the team fight stage, and all what this team is bring is bring some streams. If you put some good streams down, you know, it's a bit annoying, sure, but, you know, would you rather have a team or a Nasus in your team? I'd definitely rather have a Nasus. Well, a good Nasus, anyway. Like myself. So there's that first auto attack, AP. So he has gone for a Storm Spring, 39 AP, pretty standard. Can we queue this one? Alrighty. So I believe if he puts poison damage on a minion, he's taken his E. I imagine if he had his Q, he would have done it to me by now. This is like, why is he running? This is what annoys me with Teemo here. Yeah, he has taken his E. Why run away from me? You know I'm not going to do any damage to you. Or I'm not, you know, I won't do any damage to you, but I'm not even going to attack you. I'm just here to try and get the minions. So that's like two or three auto attacks he could have gotten there, and that would have punished me. It would have made me think, shit, I don't want to mess with this guy. You know, I don't want to be overextended to get those minions like that. Things I don't want to move me to gank. Like, I just want to farm. Like, I don't like it when junglers gank anyway, but a Mumu is not really going to have the greatest kill potential, especially with my kill potential. It's not going to happen. If it was a Lee Sin or something, you know, it's a bit different, but I just don't want it. So I can't overextend these minions, because he's now got to the point where his damage is reasonable enough to actually poke me back. So I let him push, and safe zone here. Safe zone, so it's cool. I probably won't get this big minion. I don't think my Q's going to be up in time for it. Sad face, Mr. Big Russ, right now. Almost. I don't think I even got that. What the hell? He just died in front of me instead. But it does mean I lose. He didn't even take his. Oh god, that's annoying. He's been blind. He didn't take his red buff on me for some reason. I don't know why. Lee Sin maybe was there? He never pinged anything. My map awareness isn't as good as what it used to be either. I just, I just get too focused on farming, especially with Nasus. So Lee Sin may have been. Why is he such a pussy? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, Teemo was harassing me quite well there, but he needs to be doing it more because, you know, I, I regen my HP back up thanks to my Doran Shield plus my passive if I auto-attack minions, so... And all I have to sit back, if he outsfarms me, you know, I don't really give a shit. Oh, I'm not going to get that minion now. That was the problem. You can wait out the blind if you're smart enough, but... He just did it just as I literally went to Q, which was pretty nice. I don't want him to come. Please don't come. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna sit here and I did actually get that minion. 
But he's doing some nice damage. Oh, God, very nice. I wasn't expecting that. Um, 19 to 19. Oh, that is very good for me. If you can keep up and farm as a NASA, especially against a Teemo, have mercy on their souls. We're not really going to do anything here. I had the minion waves too much big against me. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to... Oh god, he missed his key. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, that's instant, like, we're not going to make anything happen. You missed your key, stop chasing him, please. Why are you even chasing him? Dude, fuck off. Oh my god. Please don't die. I, I just, junglers do my tits him. Do not fight him. There's a reason why I'm not fighting him. <laughs> You have no kill. He damaged him low, and sure, if I was there, then we would have killed him. But if I was there, Timo wouldn't have done what he did to him in the first place. Timo would have just run away if I chased him. Timo knew I was farming. And there's a reason I farmed him, because we weren't going to kill him. If he landed his Q, yeah, sure, we're, we're talking. But he missed his Q, and then he missed his Q again. I don't know where his last bandage toss was even going. Like, fair enough, he missed the first one, but I didn't know what he was doing with his second one. It was like, you know, he makes Timo flash, which, you know, I, I, yeah, good job to Mimi. But if he lands his Q, then, you know, it's different, but he didn't, so, you know, we have no, zero kill potential then, zero, especially where I used my dope with a lot earlier. But the problem, as I said, the reason I didn't want to get involved was because of the fact that there was just too much of a big minion wave, and I would have took so much damage trying to get there, and it just wasn't worth it. So Timo is now streaming up the place. 31 to... 34, so that's good. And he's not, like I say, he's just not harassing me enough. And the problem, the reason he can't harass me enough is because he's pushed the wave under the turret. And this is why everyone does. Everyone seems to think, sure, it's NASA, so let's punish him by pushing hit the wave under the turret. And we're just like, no, man. He knows he's coming because of the streams. I don't think we're going to make anything happen here. He has to land his Q, but. Oh, that's always good. Well, fair enough, that was very nice. He actually landed his Q there. That was a very successful gank by Mimi, considering Timo actually knew he was there and I didn't have to flash. I was thinking I might have to flash. That was really, really nice by Mimi. That was a uh, uh, good job. I really take my hat off to him. That was a really nice gank from Mimi. He's actually yeah, like making an impact. You don't see. I I like a Mimi jungler, but you see a lot of bad Mimis. He's kind of hit and miss. And Lee Sin, I didn't know why he didn't raid his red buff, especially when Mimi didn't even take it in the first place. Maybe that's what he was scared of. I don't know. But uh, good job to Mimi. Really, really good gank there. Repeat gank as well, because obviously he came originally and we didn't kill him because I didn't get involved. But as I say, I wasn't interested in getting involved. But yeah, really strong gank. Oriana, she has to eat herself. Actually, barrier. Oh, yeah, oh. Then this is why I say she's got it. Um, so this is a bit risky now because I. I oh, fuck it, I'm not even going to do it. I was going to do it. But I've changed my mind. The reason I changed my mind then was because I had no health pots and I love my health pots. I could also got a ward then, but the thing is, I buy wards and I just don't ward as Nasus because Timo is pushing, so I don't need to ward. You know, I have no, I'm not going to push, and I, that's why I don't use my E. It's one mistake I used to do as a Nasus, and it cost me a lot against Renekton. I was e and, e and under the turret against Renekton, and just to get minions, but it's not important getting those minions, it's important to get those Q stacks in your minions, and because I was doing E and under the turret, it meant that I was just not getting any Q stacks at all because of it. Well, so it was just because it was pushing the wave, and then it pushed the wave, and he freezes the lane, and it was GG. And that's why I say people, the people just don't freeze the lane enough against a Nasus, and it will flipping it will uh, hurt you a lot if you do all I can hear is my dogs barking downstairs like crazy I hope you guys can hear it, it's doing my head, it's giving me a flipping headache to be honest I just want to rage at them right now but so we have, actually have Lee Sin ok and he's gone <laughs> um, oh, that was a bit annoying, we do have it up for the big one now we can, yeah. he will still be there I think maybe 
I say team is pushing too hard, so what can Lee Sin do? They can't turret dive me, because I'm just going to get level 6 and be like, whatever. I thought I was hoping my blind might wire off, but it was the case that minion was going to get real wasted anyway. They're fucking dogs. Park at anything. Uh, is Lee Sin going to be here? Could have been. The thing with Teemo as well, if, if he auto attacks. Oh god, that fucking Q. Um, if he auto attacks minions, then his poison's gonna just make them burn so quicker, which pushes the lane against me. But the way Teemo should be doing his last hit, in there, because he's doing like this, he's just. So basically, what the way Teemo's playing in this game is he's just trying to out farm me. And you will not out farm a NASA. So you may beat me in a little bit of CS, but it doesn't matter because I now have 132 stacks on my Q. What do you have? You're not getting stronger every like time. No, every minion that I have or what I Q even, you know, I get stronger on. What does Team do? He gets nothing. Like, 68 CS to my 65, and it's been under my turret the whole time. So it's not a big enough lead for him. Like Caitlyn's on 81, so there's no reason why teammate. Well, I guess he did die. Caitlyn's got three kills. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, he's got double R keep in CS as well, which is not good. I say Timo has um, not done enough damage to me at all, so I should could have auto attacked that minion originally and got it, but there we go. Uh, he's harassing me, but because of my spectral cow, Doran Shield, plus my passive, I'm just re re regaining it all back anyway, so. is not even. Nah. Just a bit worried about our bot lane skin. Fucked up. I do have my teleport, but I don't think I'm gonna have a great impact without my uh, Sheen at the moment. But yeah, the reason I didn't take Sheen, I don't know if I explained why I didn't take it. Well, it's because, well, I think I did spend a little bit, but the reason I'm not going to be on Teemo ready to duel him at the moment, so it's not really worth it, because if I, if I slow him, he can just press his W and he speeds up anyway, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. The reason the way he's kind of pushed up is because I've been queuing the minions on full HP instead of, like, you want to wait them to get pretty low, because it just means that they've taken enough damage. If I queue it on full, then it means it's not going to do any damage to that minion, so then not going to do any damage to my minion sort of thing, so... Just something to keep a note. You want to try and leave it to the last bit possible, but if you do that, sometimes it will mean that um, you might miss some others with your Q, blah blah blah. But you know, I'm back at the full HP. Everything Teemo does does not mean anything because I'm just getting all my HP back anyway. Up to 180 stacks now. It's just like the only th the only thing that's going to happen now is that Amumu can't really gank him because of I imagine how streamed up this place is going to be. The only real other option is I buy a pink ward to put in the bush, but at the same time, I'm not really fussed about uh, him coming. We probably kill him here anyway with my flash. Oh, if I queue a fucking turret. That sucked. Valkos is coming as well. Pray for the recall. Pray for the recall. Pray for the recall. Pray for the recall. Fuck you. Nothing I could do there at all, really. I, I went balls deep to kill Teemo, which I hadn't really planned to, you know. It just shows the damage I could do to him. I just went balls deep because Moomoo was coming there, and I, I had to engage. The reason I had to engage on Teemo was because. Oh, that was actually worked in his favour, to be honest. Um, the reason I had to engage on Teemo like that was because if I didn't. And Mimi walked, as you saw, Mimi walked into um, walked into a stream. So you know, and the streams would have seen him. So he he would have never have got there. So I had to try and do what I did. And in the end, you know, I was like, I can kill Team Man. I would have been able to kill him quicker if I didn't queue the turret instead. Um, which meant I had probably took less turret hits. But at the same time, I don't think I would have really done too much elsewhere. Uh, I could. I I'm going to keep my teleport just because now I have my sheen. I want to make possibly something happen if they keep pushing. Um, don't seem to be, but there's no ward to teleport on. Uh, it was only going to be worthwhile so if they chase through the minions. Uh, I want to keep my eye on bot because I can oh, lag a little bit. I can make a big um, I can make a big play happen down bottom with my teleport. That's what it's there for. And I'm now with my sheen. I'm now in a position to do. I am lagging a little. Uh, CS wise, we're ahead of Teemo now. And, you know, I can kill him, and that was about my sheen. So. 
I, wor I would really worry for him now. The thing is, now that I feel quite confident, I'm starting to push the lane a little bit. And here comes the gank. Your shield, my flipping. Well. I swear his W, like, took away the whole damage of my Q then. Like, my Q should have easily have, uh. Wither on him should mean that he dies to Mimi now. Oh, not. Aha, uh -huh. nice kick. Nice kick by Lee Sin. I am lag getting bits of lag spikes. Um, don't know why. Nice kick by Lee Sin. I slowed uh, Lee Sin down, and that's all I could really do because I couldn't go past the turret because Timo would have just like, well, I just wouldn't have him. So, don't know why Mimi's still really sitting here. He's trying to leech my experience. I think. Don't know what he's trying to do. Wasting his time, really. But again, I've got all my HP back. I thought I was going to be able to kill these sin. Well, I thought I was going to be able to, but because the reason I stopped fighting him was because of the fact that, well, I don't have any armor, which kind of goes against me. But Teemo was just stood there doing all this attack damage to me, or AP damage, or whatever. Uh, he was just doing all this damage to me. And that W, if it wasn't for that W, I don't know why that W shielded so much damage. It's like he's maxed it, I don't know, but it seemed to, like, Take so he like just took no damage when I queued him or my second queue or whatever on him, so I was just at that point I was just like, well, it's just not worth, um, it's just, <laughs> it's just not worth uh, doing anything more. So I want to keep my eye on bot. My ultimate is down at the moment, but I do want to keep my eye on bottom. Season's taking our blue buff. Again, there's not really much I can do about that. If I go there, he's only gonna smite away. So. Because bot, uh, I look away for a second now. I try to farm and bottom getting destroyed. It just makes my life so much harder now because you know I have to. Well, everyone's getting destroyed. Um, so I don't know. It's not looking good. The thing is, as an Nasus, what you want is your team to be or well, holding that lane. Not necessarily. They don't have to win it as long as they can hold it. But if they start feeding which our bot lane is, um, it makes my life so much harder because I have to then, I can't have to start worrying about other things and shit, like, do I have to teleport down there, but I can't teleport down there because where do I teleport to? That ward, you know, it's just not really a place to teleport and both bot aren't there and blah 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 and then Teemo's pushing, it's just like, it's a tricky one and then I'm like, am I strong enough really to take them on because Caitlyn is reasonably off 4-0 it's just like, what do I do? Like, there's not a proper ward. Unless they overextend on a minion, and I can teleport onto that, but... I don't know. Um, drop a totem here, just because I'm pushing a little bit. Just in case if Lee Sin comes. Not really scared if he does, but... Just in case. So, sure, Teemo's kept up in CS, but he's not killed me or anything. The only reason I died was because I went too balls deep to kill him, and I yeah, got killed by Lee Sin, which is not really the end of the world. Fucking dogs. I swear. I'll cut them up. Have them as hot dogs. Let's see what we make happen here. That damage. Those shrooms though. Gotta be out of here. Don't want to walk into any shrooms and if they die to Teemo I will be pissed. If you're gonna die to Teemo, don't go overextended now. Die to Teemo. That's probably a dumb idea. Oh. Uh, it's down to them now, really. Say this. Come on, man. Seriously? Anything? Good job. <laughs> um, finally, eh? I'll get my spirit Shazar just because I can complete it. Um, nothing else to really buy. Well, we can also buy some armor. Don't need the wards. I'm pretty tanky now. So uh, that was pretty good. Um, I don't think I already had two kills. Oh, headsets. I need to put my wire in it. Bear with me one second, then we can discuss what just happened. So what happened there was that everyone seemed to roam up there from both teams. We caught Valkos out in the jungle, put a nice amount of damage down. Didn't have a great mana pool, but thanks to my ultimate, we took quite a bit. We took quite a bit of his ultimate up. But obviously, um, what happened was then. Um, uh, was that flipping Teemo got a kill because all the shrooms and obviously everyone was there but it was alright you know I got away the only person that died I think was a moving to a shroom so Teemo just get a kill but 
This, oh, that's a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. We do have this flipping like feather. Oh, if that Q had actually landed, it would probably been a good. Oh, I don't know actually. We are outnumbered. I'm a bit worried about this Caitlyn because I haven't met her yet, and I only have a little bit of armor, not as much armor as I say normally would have as a NASA. So, just purely because I've had to build my Spectre's ca uh, Spirit Sudage even to deal with. Um, why did you do that to me? I didn't get. Ah, uh, that's fine. Um. Don't know. I'm lagging though. I'm getting little bits of lag spikes, which is really annoying. It's not like unplayable, but it's just annoying. It just doesn't feel as smooth as what it could be. But yeah, everything's just gone to pot around the whole game, really. Still have my teleport up. I've kept that up to try and make something happen, but I haven't really seen the greatest opportunity yet. Uh, I wanted to go down bottom, but again, there wasn't really the ward coverage. You know, if I teleport bottom, you know, it's the case that they might have a ward and they see me, and you know, I really want to be. If when I teleport in, I really want to be right in the mix so that I can wither someone straight away instead of them having to chase them. And I don't have ghost either because I used to run ghost a lot on NASA's, but I've been running flash a lot more because I just think it's a bit nicer for lane if someone tries to gank you, especially like say in blind pit where you don't know who you're going against. So in ranked, ranked, you can kind of be like, yeah, all right, I'll go ghost because I know they have this, but you don't know who you're going to go in against. And Flash is very useful still, but ghost is just nice for that bit more chasing, but he was pretty good. I could teleport here, but I think they should be okay, hopefully. I don't know where their Caitlyn is. That's the question. I think once Caitlyn comes down there, she might change things if she is fair. I could teleport on to save our Caitlyn, but I don't think it's worth it. I think she might even get away on her own. Man, what Oriana? Oh, she did die. Oh, they both. Oh my days. Different team. There's just not enough, you know. Because they're all losing again, it just hurts me. It's like, what do I do? I need to go help them, but at the same time, I want to keep farming. And so, you know, the thing that's good is that Timo's all he's done really this game is just try out farming, which he hasn't, you know. He should be ahead in CS because my wave's been under the turret the whole time. But the fact that I'm beating him in CS and then I now have 372 Q stacks means once I get on top of him, I will destroy him. But I haven't purposely because of um, the fact I didn't have my eyes born. I just know that he'd be able to walk away, and I don't want to turret dive him again. So here is the almighty. Decent. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Wow, well, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot more damage than what I was expecting to happen, really. Um, well, wow, that was a lot more damage. I thought I was I'd get on Teemo this time so that I could just like stop him from um, doing all that damage. Or like before, I I don't know who did all the damage to me. And Lee Sin did quite a bit, I guess, from his basic attacks. I thought if I with a Teemo, at least he wouldn't be like with his attack speed and his poison. You know, I'd take less da less damage and. I thought I was going to be able to handle the situation, really, but I really didn't do, uh... Did it mean we just flash? I know she was trying to tank the ult, I guess. Um, I really didn't do the damage I thought I was going to do, or the tankiness I thought I'd have, and because of it I lose the turret. I could have got away, you know, there was, I could have got away, but... I was trying to be cocky and, you know, cool, and... thought that I'd be able to handle the situation, but... It wasn't to happen. But the thing is, we have a Wombo combo and a Mumu and Oriana. All they have to do is get a nice ultimate off each, and then I, I'll go to town. I can I can kill Caitlyn. She may be fair, but it doesn't matter. Well, I'm not as, well, I'm not like fed as I'd like to be, and I don't have greatest farmers. Like, well, I've proved in that situation, and I I really thought I'd be able, I thought I was going to be able to handle that a lot better than what I actually did. So. Um, it's cool though. We, you know, we have Q stacks still. I just don't know how I, t I just didn't think I was going to take as much damage as what I did. Lisa must have put quite a bit of down onto me, I guess. With this red buff as well, maybe. I, I don't know. But all I know is I got killed quickly. I, I, so I don't have any armor. What was probably the bad thing is why I, go for the, I should have maybe went for Lisa. But probably in all, well, in all fairness, I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have went for it anyway. I'm gonna go for Lee Sin this time because I feel that it was Lee Sin that fucked me up last time. I want to flash on him to make sure we can gain the wither and get the kill. Really good job. So yeah, nice gank by a Mumu. Um, 
loud because you see them. Uh, so yeah, good jump ganked by a Mimi then. We get one kill. We nice to get both, but it helps the Mimi out. So yeah, we have a nice team comp. There's no reason why we... or The only thing what we might lose this is... Oh, Caitlyn's actually got three kills. And she is... that Their Caitlyn hasn't died yet, so there's a lot of money resting on their Caitlyn. And I've kept my teleport up this whole game purposely in case anything's happened, but... You know, I haven't used it because I haven't really... or It's not so much the opportunity hasn't been there. That's not good. Um, it's just a fact to... Like, if I'm going to teleport, I want to teleport in the middle because I'm just going to be spotted or whatever and I just waste my time coming down. And this is what's happened to me before where I've tried to teleport somewhere else and it's just not worked. So what I have to do now is go help mid. I want to push, but fuck it, I'm going to get this turret actually. Mainly, I, the reason I wasn't going to go, I wanted to go help mid, but I want to get the turret because at least it's down now. That's gold for everyone, which we need, but Morgana is AFK, which is... Not ideal. I can afford some items now, so I'm best off backing and buying my Iceborne. And we can see what I can maybe make happen from there. I get my Mercury Tread as well, which is going to help. Uh, I can't buy anything else at the moment. Next, we need to look for a giant spout. Probably my Random Zoman because of how fed Caitlyn is. Um, but we're looking pretty strong, for sure, but not as strong as a Nessie like. And you know, at this point, I'd like to be farming still, but you know, I can't really farm because of the fact of. Uh, what's going on around the sort of board. Oh, I'm gonna be dead here. God, that was a bad idea. I was trying to protect Darga. I was trying to protect um trying to protect Oriana then, but it just Rudy you probably should have just left her to die on her own then. I was trying to be the good guy teammate but it just wasn't to be. All we have to do is channel a Mimi ultimate with Oriana plus the Morgana ultimate, but if Morgana's AFK then we really don't have a hope. But yeah, that was done by me really. Uh, again, I just think I'm a bit or well, I think I'm really underestimating how fed they probably are. Like Caitlyn was the first time I probably met her and she I think she was the one who shredded me. Not too much. But again I was in like the mix of four V one then. I was like right in the middle of them all, which probably wasn't the best position. I'm gonna go for home guard boots, which slows me down, but I just know we're gonna be in our base for the rest of this game now. For a long time, which again hurts my fart. Well, it hurts everything. It sucks. Not what I want to be as a Nasus, but because of the fact my team or you know bot necessary has been destroyed, I hate you, Oriana. I hate people that steal my farms. Oh, God, I could rage at them so hard. Why? Why are you even fighting without me? Just <laughs> every farm. It's all they ask me. Oh my God. Wow. I popped my ultimate just so I had the uh, AoE effect for my ultimate to kill her. That was the only reason I killed her. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't actually have got that. <laughs> it was literally just because when I popped my ultimate that I actually killed her then. I didn't want to have to pop it, but in the end I had to because I wouldn't have got her voice. Why are my home guards not popping? Fucking waste of money. <laughs> um, so, you know, it was worth it because we finally actually killed Caitlyn. First person to kill her. It's only taken flipping. Uh, taking a long time, but. Finally done it. See, I'm I'm strong. I'm not as strong as I'd like to be, but with oh, um, why is Oriana even chasing still? With a good, with a good um, I don't know why Oriana really stayed there. To be honest. This is not good. That because it's gonna like ult over in a second. So I'm out of here. I don't know why Oriana was still floating around really. But the problem is Morgana is AFK, so as much hope as we would I would like to win this with Oriana being AFK, it's not gonna look very good for us really. Um I finally get some health for me which is nice, but the problem is the only reason we really got the kills was because Caitlyn overextended or overstayed her welcome and so did uh, Timo and that's why we killed them then. But you know, Morgana being AFK. The thing was was that I went the team builder still up. I've been trying to make the most out of team builder because it's only up for the two days. I don't know when it will be back. I hope it's back because it's really nice. And you know, I don't have problems like this where someone just leaves and goes AFK or whatever. Um, but for some reason, it put me into a normal game. I, well, I must have clicked on normal game by accident. God, if you want to make me rage, you're gonna do it. Um, I must have went into a normal game by. Oh, I went into a normal game. Also, must click by accident, not realizing. And I was like, all right, well, I'm in here. I was gonna instantly leave and take the five-minute ban, and then, but everyone picked the position, and it was like, cool, you know. It was actually nice that no one said, that, you know, they just chose the position, and I was happy with that. But unfortunately, the problem is this: is people just like give up, and I don't know why we give up because. 
even though they probably have got Baron now, there's nothing I can do to stop it because I've not got Smite. They've got it anyway. They actually both get away then. I think Mimi turned around. Oh my god. The shrooms. Um, this is the end now, really. The, the problem is, um, just the problem is, is the fact that uh, Morgana's AFK. With, with Morgana, like, sure, Caitlyn may be behind and everything, and their Caitlyn's really fed, but Morgana and Mumu and Oriana are almost GG. But I can't defend this on my own against a Baron buff team when there's only four of us and only me and Caitlyn are actually alive, so. Uh, it's easy picking to them, really. Which is a bit of a shame. A shame. Might hold on for one last fight. If my wither ever comes up. Someone's calling me on Skype. I'm annoying. It's closed my fucking game as well. We should be back up. Oh god. I'm st oh god. Minion, minion, minion. Oh my game. My fraps like closed literally just in the middle of that whole team fight. Then I don't know how I didn't die. I was pretty lucky, really. But this is why I just hate people just AFK just because she lost bot lane and she's just like, I'm going AFK now. It's like, alright. Thanks. Should probably go for Valkors, but I feel that he will probably kill like Oriana or I'll kill anyone I can. Alright, maybe not. Nice, this Valkors pretty good. Nice knock back by him. That was nice. Stop me from getting any further. Damage he has is pretty strong as well. Give him that. that. The game's in the bag. Why this Oriana? I swear she's a troll. I don't know why she's going around with such low HP. Probably because she knows it's over, but still. Well, it is, it is over, even though we've lost our sure we've lost our... Um, motherfucker. I was trying to cure it, but he took it anyway. I can't fight him on my own. He's too strong. And plus, without my ultimate down, it's not worth it. And by the time I got to him, he'd have just done so much damage to me anyway, so... Um, it's a shame. Like... We had a good, we had a reasonably good lane of phase to be honest, like we died one, well once when I dived and then my other death was a bit stupid because I thought I was going to be able to kill, or at least kill Lee Sin, or no, kill Teemo even and then walked away from Lee Sin but I just died. And then the the other death was, uh, I don't know what the other death was but it was probably something, yeah. Oh yeah, it was going to save Oriana and it was just a fact that, um, it was just a fact that they were so fed. Never say never. Even though we have lost this, I know we've lost this, but I probably wasted my own time, really. But I hate surrendering. I don't play a game to surrender. If I did that, then I don't know why I'd be, but it's not what I do. I'm just gonna keep Ian's bush until I kill Timo. Even though I don't know he might not even be there, but <laughs> if he was. Um, can we afford anything? Uh, I probably need to get armor really than my war mugs, but fuck it, I can afford it, so. Well, I'd really need armor, but. Oh, uh, it gives me a thousand HP, which is not bad. Thing is, I can't tank his ultimate because it just goes through it, unfortunately. Well, it goes through me, so. They're just too fed now as well, unfortunately. There's not really anything we can do. Um, just to, to be honest, if we had, I just feel if we had Morgana here, we could even if they're fed, it doesn't matter. We could at least have tried the Morgana Oriana ultimate combo. Uh, Morgana and Mumu. Oh, oh god, you know what I mean. Uh, Mumu Oriana Morgana. Yeah, I get myself confused. I just wanted to see it happen, but we never saw it. We've not really been to be honest. Seen the uh, Oriana and Mumu. I have so much damage that I just destroy them in the team fights, but I can't because of uh, certain situations. The thing is, Valkos is actually winning the game here, I think. He's too strong for me. The minion. Oh god. Oh god. That's it. That's GG now. Um, so yeah, the AFK. I've been playing Team Builder all of, oh, of the last two days. Um, and then been enjoying it, had really good fun. I think I've lost two and won like eight in Team Builder. And you know, both games wasn't like 
we lost maybe because of dumb, some dumb shit, but just to lose because we had someone AFK. Sure, we may have lost because they were fed, but you know, if we'd actually had a decent team fight, which we didn't because we were 4v5, it would have been it could have been so much different. You know, I could easily two shot Caitlyn. You have Mumu ult, Oriana ult, Morgana ult, and everyone's locked down. I get on top of Caitlyn, I kill her. Caitlyn's gone, then all you have to really worry about is Valkos. Right focus, we win that game. We had a better team comp than one day, did, but just uh, bottom fed. But again, it wasn't really so much the fed, it was just Morgana went AFK, and there's jack shit we can do about that. Which is sad, you know, I never like, I hate losers, let alone losing because someone went AFK because they were losing pot so hard and they would go cry to their mummy. Especially because she was platinum, and platinum Morgana can go suck some, some, suck some dick, but there we go. Um, it's annoying, but nothing I can do, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and take it easy, have a good day, peace. GG to you guys that have made it this far, you earn yourself a cookie, nom nom nom. You now have the option to click onto some of my previous videos. Clicking on the top lane will take you to a playlist of all my top lane videos that I've made. Over 150 including champions like Nasus, Renekton, Garen, Zed, Teemo. Click on my Nasus guide, you'll find out how to play Nasus like myself. Mid lane takes you to a playlist of all the mid laners I've played, Lux, Cassidy, Valkos, many more. And all the pentakills for the pentakill play playlist, along with some kill completions and some pro plays in there. Enjoy, have a good day, peace.